guys, I want to show you real quick <laughs> this message that me and Tia were talking about. Like, so random, but still. Check this out. You <laughs> know why people are so confused. It's because they forget that there's always a ground zero. Remember, when you're trying, when you're trying to say, like, that I'm also part of the chair, well, I'm not very good at explaining myself, and usually real Jared would explain in one sentence for me what I was trying to say, but I think I figured it out. It's just like in math, because everything boils down to the math, right? And in math, at some point, all the numbers always reach zero. So that means at some point, the negative numbers stop being negative, and at some infinitesimal point, and reach zero. Okay, there's another message right now, which you'll, you'll see, I'm, I'm going to get there. And it's... <laughs> zero they become positive but the point is that there is a separation between the two points and the two points are separated by zero i think that's what i was trying to explain to you that at some point all things reach a zero point and that is where that being and are those items end and other things begin just as we see in math with negative and positive numbers and almost all things are based off of mathematical system anyways so it just would make sense that this model is reflected and where particles meet and separate and i put i believe that neither a positive or negative number have an end so you don't believe in the number zero well zero isn't really a number but anyways so do you believe in zero and i put which means i was still writing this when they sent me that when she sent me that, which means they never have to meet unless fate or divine entity put them in place. Yes, zero is considered a number, and yes, it is between the positive and negative. But that doesn't mean, for some random reason, they have to go back to zero when they never end. And then she put, I think it's pretty much also, there's more messages that we're going to get to. I think it's pretty much almost impossible and unfathomable to imagine modern day mathematical system without zero i could be wrong but i think zero is not a number hello the whole concept of zero is that two points end um because it is nothing and zero is nothing there and i put while she was putting that zero is most certainly used in the decimal system as a function functioning and non-functioning number i put sand and said which does a good job at expressing nothing zero me means they do end and I put, no, they don't. Zero simply means that there is nothing there and nothing more than that. And she put, and when the numbers meet, zero. Zero means they end. And I put, no, they never meet zero. After moving in any direction, but yes, they start at zero. They could meet at zero if they are moving in the direction of the opposing numbers. They could stay at zero if they don't move also or were stagnant. And then she put, yeah, nothing is there because one sequence of numbers and leaving a space of nothing, uh, zero, then that space of nothing, nothing eventually becomes positive numbers. As soon as you put something next to zero, it is no longer zero. No scientists have actual number they consider to be so infinitesimally small as to be almost mathematically <clears throat> impossible or at least highly improbable. Also, since zero exists by itself, obviously at some point the numbers reach the ultimate zero. And I put, yes, the probability of something infinitesimally small can only be defined by a measure of in itself or an observation of that proportion. Now, these are the new messages I'm getting right now. <sighs> we have both agreed that there's a fundamental law of opposites. And this is not, I'm not her dad, this is my wife. <clears throat> there's a fundamental law of opposites. We have agreed on this before, that if there is light, there's an opposite. Darkness, if there is matter, there's antimatter etc etc what you're saying defies the law of opposites that we have always naturally agreed on it's a number never reaches ultimate zero then that means nothing nothing does not exist the opposite of something is nothing my bad i put we have both that agreed my phone i was saying hey for it uh I, I guess that's the end of the conversation And then we just start acting stupid, or we can keep going. <laughs> See, she calls me fake Jared, uh, for whatever reason, but yeah. Um, I'm just going to put... <laughs> I think I put everything I basically wanted to say already. Read. Some office in darkness. Yes. You're, you're smart, but okay. You have... 
zero in the brain. <laughs> JK, JK. Okay, yeah, yeah, but that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video about zeros. Uh, peace out, like, follow, share.